Module 2. Events. An event is something important that happens. Like the World Cup. That is a sport event. Algenadiria is a cultural event. Events. Something important that happens. Discuss. What kind of events, sports events, cultural events, do you attend, do you go to? Personally, I love sports events in general, all sports events. What's your favorite celebration? Celebration. Now, celebrate is the verb. When you celebrate, you do something special because you're happy. You come with friends and you eat and you have drinks. Celebration is the noun. My favorite celebrations are the Muslim holidays like Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Who do you usually celebrate with? I usually celebrate with my family and my friends. 2a. Join the fun. Come and be part of the fun. Enjoy yourself. Read. Listen and read. Where is the event taking place? Take place means happen. Where is the event happening? School fate. Do you see this? It's a diatrical mark. It means the word fate is not English. It's Latin or French. School fete is an event where people bring food from home and they enjoy different games and they play different sports. Saturday, the 25th of April. Do you like having fun? Do you like enjoying yourself? Do you love playing sports and games in the sun? in the open air, outside the school building? Do you love homemade cakes? Not cakes bought from the stores? No, the cake is made at home. And biscuits? Do you like taking part in competitions? Now a competition is an event when people want to see who is number one, who is the best. So they have a competition. When you take part in, three words, take part in, means you join, you play, you compete in a competition. Take place, happen. Take part in, that means you join, you join, you play. Yes, well, get down to, come to, Riverside School on Hayworth Road. Riverside School, that's the name of the school, on Hayworth Road, that's the location. See you there at 10 a.m. Bring your friends and family, let them come. Where is the event taking place? At Riverside School. Hi, George. Thanks for the invitation. George sent this invitation. This is the invitation. It is when you ask someone to go somewhere. Jim, please come to the school fete. To your school fete. They are always great fun. My mom usually makes some biscuits for me to bring to the school fete. But we've got a new recipe for a chocolate cake. We have a recipe the way to make chocolate cake. Pizza recipe is the way to make pizza. Ice cream recipe, the way to make ice cream. So, I can bring that this year. My dad can't take me on Saturday. Can your dad take me in his car? And hey, don't forget the barbecue at my house tomorrow night. Don't forget, remember the barbecue. Barbecue is when people cook their food using this. Jim. 
Hi, George. Riverside School Fate? Hooray! You say hooray to express enthusiasm. To say that you are very happy, I am excited and happy for the fate. But it's a bit early, it's a little early for invitations. Why did you send me this? It's only March now, and the fate is in April, that's next month. I don't really enjoy playing sports outside, in the sun, outside, in the open air. But as you know, like you know, you know that. I love competitions, because I can be number one, and homemade food. So, see you there. I'll see you there, I'll meet you there. What can I bring with me? Any ideas? Any thoughts? Do you have a suggestion for me? Please tell me. Please let me know. Kitty. Read again and answer the questions. When is the school fate? It's on Saturday, the 25th of April. Where is Riverside School? It's on Hayworth Road. What does Jim usually, every year, bring to the fate? Usually, he brings biscuits. But this year, he will bring chocolate cake. What's tomorrow night? Tomorrow night is the barbecue at Jim's house. What month is it now? Now, it's March. Next month is April. Who doesn't like doing sports outside? I don't enjoy playing sports outside. Who wants to bring food to the school fate? Both Jim and Karim. Jim wants to bring chocolate cake and Karim was asking for ideas. Hey, what should I bring with me? So he wants to bring something. 2. Vocabulary. Put the months in order. In order means which is the first month? Which is the second, the third? Write 1 to 12, then listen and check your answers. Now we will watch the months of the year song, and I give full credit to the Singing Walrus English Songs for Kids YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check this channel out. They have many fun stuff for kids. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, let's sing along with Mother Hen. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Now, can you put the months in order? Talk in pairs. What's the date today? Date means the day and the month. Today is the 29th of November. Again, today is the 29th of November. When we talk, when we speak, we say the 29th of November. When we write, we don't write the, we don't write of. We write 29 or 29th. 
We don't write the or off. When's Eid al-Fitr? When's when is Eid al-Fitr this year? It's in May. It's on the the 24th of May. We use in before months. It's in May. It's in June. It's in July. We use on before dates. If you have the day and the month, it's on the 24th of May. We also use in before years. It's in 2019, in 2020. We also use on before days of the week. It's on Sunday. We can say it's on Sunday. It's on Sunday, the 24th of May. We use at with specific time, like it's at 3 o'clock. It's at 3.30. Four grammar. Mmm, cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers. I is the subject. Love the verb. Cheeseburgers, the object. Love means like. I can use love. I can use like. I can use enjoy. They all mean the same thing. If I don't like cheeseburgers, I can use hate. I don't like cheeseburgers. I hate cheeseburgers. <laughs> These are called verbs of preference to show what you like and don't like. Now look, this is the same sentence. I love cheeseburgers. What we want is to use a verb here. I love eat cheeseburgers. <laughs> No, if you use a verb after love, hate, enjoy, you must add ing. I love eating cheeseburgers. That's correct. Now, look at the prompts and make sentences. Jack, love, listen to radio. Where's the subject? Jack. Where is the verb of preference? Love. Where is the verb? Like eat. It's listen. The object is radio. Now it's easy. Jack loves. This is present simple. We add S to the verb if the subject is he, she, or it. I love. You love. He loves. She loves. It loves. Listening to the radio. Can you do this? The children enjoy making biscuits. My brother hates doing homework. I can say homework or his homework. I don't like, I hate playing tennis. Stacy enjoys going shopping. Now, discuss in pairs, you and the partner, or small groups, like three, four, five students maximum. Do you like school fates? Oh, I love them. What activities usually take place at school fate in your country? What activities, what things that happen, things that you do, take place, happen? We usually bring homemade food and we take part in. Take part in. That means we play. We compete. We join. Sport competitions. To see who the winner is. What do you enjoy doing? I enjoy trying the food, eating the food my classmates, my friends bring from home. I also like playing football, but of course, I hate losing. 
When I don't win, I lose. I hate, hate, use ing. I hate losing. Now, make an invitation. An invitation is when you ask someone to go somewhere. Please come to a school fete. Like this, use ideas from the invitation in activity one. This is the invitation. Include the information. Put all the information here in your invitation. This is my invitation, school fete. On Sunday, the 1st of December. That's the date. The date. The activities and what to bring are here. You can bring homemade traditional dishes. Traditional dishes like ma'sub, harika. These are traditional dishes. That's the place. Where? Al Faisaliya School on Saeed bin Zagr Street. And that's the time. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.